All right. We're just gonna select the unified sniff, and we're gonna select our Ethernet interface. All right, for our first man in the middle attack, we're gonna do ARP poisoning. Uh, in ARP poisoning, what happens is the attacker will send out uh, requests and replies to the victim, and that will poison the ARP cache. This will allow you to um, receive all the packets sent out, like being the man in the middle, so you can receive the packets, sniff them, and they'll continue on to the destination. So, in EtherCap, if you go to Targets and open the current targets, you can see uh, where you can put your targets. In EtherCap, there is no uh, concept between source and destination, it's just between two hosts. So for our poisoning, we need to scan first scan for all of our hosts on our current network. And if you go under the host list, you can see the two stations we have. Um, you can then add those to the target list, you can add to target one and target two. This will do this man in the middle attack between those two hosts. And if you don't add it to those target, those two targets, if you leave the target field blank, it will be for all hosts on that network. And of course, go to man in the middle attack and select art poisoning. You can also see under art poisoning, there's an option to do only poison one way. Um, this is helpful if you want to poison only the client and not the router. Uh, you can. This is helpful because sometimes they put ARP watchers on the routers. And we're going to select OK, and of course go to Start and select Start Sniffing. EtherCap comes with some helpful plugins for ARP poison. Uh, the first one is Check Poison. This will check to make sure that your ARP poison was successful. As you can see, ours was. And another helpful plugin is Repoison. This will uh, repoison the ARP cache every time uh, a new host is added. All right, here we are in the victim. As you can see, both the gateway and the attacker have the same MAC address. Uh, the that shows that the poison was successful. All right, to test out our poison, we're going to go to YouTube and we're going to go ahead and log into the site. As you see on EtherCap, it has picked up that password, shows you where it's from, what the username is, and what the password is. So our poison was successful without the victim being the wiser. Once we've ended the art poison, uh, if you go back to the victim, you can see that the MAC address has returned to the original one. It restores that art cache.